So we all know that Uniqlo has one of the best fitting tees, but which tee is best for you? Today I have with me three different Uniqlo tees. The first is the oversized Aerism tee. The second is the Supima Cotton tee. And lastly, we have the Uniqlo U tee. So I'm gonna be going over the material, the comfort, and also doing a comparison between all three. So hopefully at the end of this video, you'll know exactly which fit is best for you. So keep watching. Before we get started, to give you guys some reference, my height is 5'10", I weigh 160 pounds, my shoulders are 16 and a half inches wide, 36 inch chest, 13 inch bicep, and 29 and a half inch waist. My body type is more on the buff and muscular side, just kidding. I would consider my body to be on the leaner side. Now with that out the way, let's get started. Let's start this off with the Uniqlo Oversized Airs T. This is a size small and it retails for $14.90 here in the US. It's made in Vietnam with 53% cotton and 47% polyester. In case you're not familiar, Arism material is a type of fabric that is made from industrial grade micro polyester spandex fiber. And I know what you're thinking, what the hell does that mean? Don't worry, I'm on the same boat as you. But basically, the polyester makes it very smooth on the skin, helps you stay cool, and the spandex material is stretchy to help maximize your movements. The shirt also have attributes that helps your body stay dry. If you're a sweaty person like me, the shirt wicks away moisture and dries fast, and also helps control odor. Because of this, the Aerism tee will be great for hot summers or working out. The small weighs in at 197 grams. To give you guys some idea on how this tee compares to other Uniqlo tees in terms of weight, the Uniqlo U tee, size small, weighs in at about 225 grams, and the Supima size small weighs in at 144 grams. So at 197 grams for the size small, it sits right at the middle of the pack. The shirt thickness measures to 0.68 millimeters, which is pretty standard. To give you guys some reference, the UT measures to 1 millimeters and the Supima measures to 0.38 millimeters. So just like the weight, the Aerism sits right in the middle. Even though the shirt's heavier and thicker than the Supima T, it doesn't feel that way. It feels a lot lighter than the Supima T thanks to the Aerism fabric. For the construction of this shirt, the collar features a classic ribbing. The collar thickness measures to 0.97 millimeters, which is about 0.3 millimeters thicker than the body, just to help prevent the bacon collar effect. It's a straight fit shirt from the chest all the way down to the waistline. At the hem, you see a double stitch construction that helps with durability and ultimately prevents the edge from fraying. Moving up to the sleeves, you see the double stitch just like the waistline, which is a good sign in terms of durability. At the body, you see an overlock stitch, which is standard in most shirts. It's also very stretchy. People think all t-shirts are the same, but that's not true. Little details like this really matters when you're looking for a good quality shirt. Moving on to the fit, this is in a size small by the way. The chest measures at 21 inches, shoulder 20 and a quarter inches, length 26 and a half inches, Sleeve length 10 and a quarter inches and sleeve opening is 7 inches. This is how the size small fits on me. Because this is an oversized fit, it's very roomy all around. With a 21 inch chest opening, that's equivalent to a size large Supima Con T. The 20 and a quarter inch shoulders fall past my shoulder line. The 10 and a quarter inch sleeve length covers my entire upper arm and stops right at my elbows. The 26 and a half inch shirt length is the only thing that's not oversized. The length is about the same as the size small Uniqlo UT and Supima Con T. Because of its wide fit and normal length, I would recommend this tee for guys who are on the heavier side. The proportions are ideal for someone who is trying to cover up their belly and look a little slimmer. But if you're someone with my body type and just looking for an oversized fit, this is a very good option. Uniqlo did a great job with the proportions on this, so definitely go true to size. For comfort, this hands down one of the most comfortable shirts I've ever tried on. For an oversized tee, you would expect a lot of that fabric against your body, but it doesn't feel that way. The shirt feels so light and airy. When they say cool to the touch, they really mean it because for the couple of hours I had this shirt on, it feels cool against my body. Honestly, I thought Uniqlo was just throwing in a bunch of buzzwords in their advertising, but Arizona fabric is the real deal. 
I might just replace all my teas with Arizona because of how comfortable it is. Next up, we have the Supima Cotton Tea. There's been a lot of hype surrounding this tea, but is it well justified? The Uniqlo Supima Cotton Tea retails for $14.90 here in the US. It's made in Vietnam with 100% Supima Cotton. What's special about Supima Cotton is that it's grown and sourced in the United States. It's a very unique type of cotton because of its extra long fibers. Compared to regular cotton, Supima is lighter but 45% stronger and because of that it's going to be more durable and comfortable. The shirt is very lightweight, the small weighs in at 144 grams. To give you guys some reference on how light Supima cotton is, a size large Supima tee weighs less than a size small Uniqlo U and Arism tee. And it's not even that close. It's 26 grams lighter than the Arizona T and 54 grams lighter than the Uniqlo UT, which is pretty crazy. Because of its lightness, the fabric is very thin. At the body, it measures 2.38 millimeters, which is significantly thinner than the Uniqlo UT at about 1 millimeter and Arizona T at 0.68 millimeters. However, a con to thin material is that it can be see through to some people depending on your skin color, chest hair, and contrast of your nipples. So that's just something to look out for. For the construction, the collar measures to 0.52 millimeters, which is 0.14 millimeters thicker than the fabric on the body and sleeve. The extra thickness and ribbing in the collar helps prevent the infamous bacon collaring. It's a straight fit shirt from the chest all the way down to the waistline. At the hem, you'll see a double stitch construction that helps with durability and ultimately prevents the edges from fraying. Moving up to the sleeves, you see the double stitch just like the waistline, which is a good sign in terms of durability. Moving on to the fit, this is in a size small by the way. The chest measures to 19 and a half inches, shoulder is 16 and a half inches, length 26 inches, sleeve length 8 inches, and sleeve opening is 6.5 inches. First impression, this is one of the best fitting tees I've ever tried on. The 8 inch sleeve length hits right at mid bicep, the 26 inch length hits right at mid groin. It's somewhat fitted shirt that shows some figure, but not too fitted where it looks like you're wearing a muscle shirt. The size small is labeled for people with 35 to 38 inch chest. My chest is 36 inches so it sits right in the middle. If you're in between sizes and for example you have a 38 inch chest, I will go up a size on this mostly because the length is fairly short. And with my 36 inch chest, it is somewhat fitted already and I can see someone with a 38 inch chest being a bit on the tight side. So how does it feel in terms of comfort? It's extremely soft and lightweight, making this very comfortable. But for all the good things about this shirt, there are downsides to it. The downsides are if you're a taller individual like 6 feet or above, the length is going to be a bit too short for you. Another downside is that the super thin material, as I mentioned earlier, there's a chance that people can see through your shirt. So if you face that problem in the past, then you may want to pass on this shirt and instead go with the Aerism or the UT. Just a quick message before we continue on with this video. If this video is helping you out so far, don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps out small content creators like myself and really encourages me to keep putting out videos like this. So don't forget to like, subscribe. Now let's get back to the video. Last but not least, we have the Uniqlo UT. It retails for $14.90 here in the US. It's made in Cambodia with 100% cotton. The main difference between the UT and all the other Uniqlo tees is that the cotton on this is very heavyweight. The small weighs in at 225 grams. To help you understand how heavy these tees are, a size small Uniqlo UT weighs the same as a size large oversized Arism tee. And it's also 32% heavier than a size large Supima cotton tee. So in terms of weight, the UT does not mess around. A downside to a 100% cotton is that it tends to shrink faster and wrinkle easier compared to a cotton and polyester blend. It's also not as soft. Check out the Arism or Supima tea if you're looking for a more softer and modern blend. Heavyweight and thickness come hand in hand so you can expect the fabric to be thick. The thickness of this tee measures to a little over 1mm. To give you guys some reference, the Uniqlo Arizona tee has a thickness of 0.68mm and the Supima Khan tee has a thickness of 0.38mm. So that means the UT thickness is the same if you combine the thicknesses from both the Arizona and Supima Khan tee, which is crazy. 
The collar measures to 2 millimeters, which is double the fabric on the body and sleeve. The extra thickness and ribbing in the collar help prevent the infamous bacon collaring. It's a straight fit shirt from the chest all the way down to the waistline. At the helm, you see a double stitch construction, and that helps with durability and ultimately prevents the edges from fraying. Moving up to the sleeve, you see the double stitch just like on the waistline, which is a good sign in terms of durability. At the body, you see a very noticeable straight stitch that runs along the whole shirt. This adds extra reinforcement so the shirt doesn't rip as easily. People think all t-shirts are the same but that's not true at all. Little details like this really matters when you're looking for a good quality shirt. Moving on to the fit, this is in a size small. The chest measures to 20 inches, shoulder 18 inches, length 26 and a half inches, Sleeve length 8.5 inches and sleeve opening is 7 inches. This is how the size small fits on me and this is my true to size. First impression, this is a very regular fitting tee and what I mean by that is it's a little boxy but I wouldn't consider this an oversized fit. The 26.5 inch length covers most of my crotch and butt. I would prefer if it was about a half inch shorter. With the 8.5 inch sleeve length, it will go past your triceps, and the 7 inch sleeve opening won't hug your arms unless you're jacked of course, but for us regular people, there's gonna be some breathing room. The 18 inch shoulder length is just a little bit wide on me, but it's not too bad. One major thing to point out is because it's made from 100% cotton, it will most likely shrink in the dryer. So the dimensions are a tad bigger than what you like. I actually recommend you going for that size because it will shrink to your fit. So how's it feel in terms of comfort? You can really feel the heavy weightness and thickness of this tee. Because of the thickness, you don't have to worry about the shirt being see-through. One downside to this, however, is that the fabric is not very airy. So if you wear this in a hot summer day, you're gonna sweat. And there's not much ventilation in this type of thick fabric compared to the Aerism tee. I would recommend the Aerism for hot days, which I will go over in another video. So if you're a sweaty guy like myself, I would pass on this tee. Now here's a moment that you've all been waiting for. This is how each tee looks side by side. Each tee is very different in terms of their material and fit. UT is the heaviest weighing in at 225 grams, beating Arism at 197 grams, and Spima at 144 grams. For the material thickness, UT wins again, measuring to 1 millimeters, Arism at second place at 0.68 millimeters, and lastly, Spima at 0.38 millimeters. Oversized Arism has the widest chest at 21 inches, then the UT at 20 inches, and lastly, Spima at 19 and a half inches. For the shoulder, same order. Arizm tops the list at 20 and a quarter inches, UT at 18 inches, then Supima at 16 and a half inches. For the length, all three tees are about the same, where the oversized and UT has the same 26 and a half inch length, and Supima is only half an inch shorter. For sleeve length, Arizm has the longest at 10 and a quarter inches. For the U and Supima tee, there's only a half inch difference. The sleeve opening is the same for the U and Arizm tee at 7 inches, and the Supima tee is only half an inch narrower. In terms of comfort, the clear winner is the Arizm tee. Because of how soft and stretchy and cool this fabric is, it's a perfect t-shirt for sleeping in, going out, basically anything in life. Because of the polyester blend in this, it'll give it a nice soft and silky texture that the Supima tee can offer. But in terms of fit, Supima tee is the winner for me. This is definitely a subjective choice because I'm more into fitted clothing, but I think the Supima tee fits perfectly in my body. The sleeves hit right at mid bicep, length hits mid groin, shoulder and chest has the perfect opening. For the UT, I'm not a big fan of it because it's not the most comfortable and it also doesn't fit the best. The heavyweight and thick fabric is a turn off for me because I get sweaty easily. In my opinion, it doesn't really offer anything special. I feel like you can get a similar tee like this from Costco for like 4 for $10, but that's just my opinion. So use your best judgment from watching my video. There you have it guys, my in-depth Uniqlo tea review. Let me know in the comments which tea is your favorite. And that's it for this week's video. If you're interested in a size guide for other Uniqlo teas, then click the playlist right here. If this video helped you out, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.